In this video, I will detail how to assemble the gliding controller. First, gather your 3D printed parts. There should be five in total. Next, drill out each hole with a 3mm countersink, paying attention to the direction the screws will go. Remember to countersink the hole in the gear also, as this will be used for a grub screw. I recommend using inset nuts, and these can be recessed into the plastic using a hot soldering iron. Remove excess plastic from each of the holes using a file. Work out what length M3 bolts are required for each of the holes. Begin by using short screws to attach the gear surround to the motor. Check that this can now sit flush against the main body. Before screwing in place, attach the motor. Decide on an appropriate length screw and attach the two components together. Connect the motor, making sure that the wires correspond to the labels. And connect the LED. The ground is on the bottom of this picture, the signal in the center and the five volts at the top. Bring together the D1 Mini and the DC Shield as well as the motor driver board. With your electronics now complete, test to make sure everything is working as expected. Insert a small 3mm screw into the gear. Check the orientation and place the gear onto the motor spindle. Tighten the grub screw using the small slot at the base of the unit. You may need to adjust the position of the gear using the buttons to do this. Use a small dot of hot glue in each of the raised corners and along the side to attach the D1 Mini into the housing. Check for fit with the top cover in place before the glue sets, adjusting with your fingers if necessary. Place the LED in the slot on the cover and fix using some hot glue. Bring together the main body and the cover, being careful not to trap any wires, and attach using the four screws. Snap the gear cover in place. Finally, push two button covers over the buttons to complete the unit. The device can now be attached directly to the wall using tape or using the brackets that you can print separately. These can also be taped or screwed using the holes provided. And that then completes assembly of the blind controller. In the next video, we'll look at calibration and features. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my website, kaboo.com.